Hello, fire signs. I am starting with you first because I already drew you. I actually did yours, Aries. And it seemed like you were dealing with, um... Oh, god damn, now I don't fucking remember. That's important. Um... It was like there was a betrayal going on that you were still dealing with and you had hard feelings about it, but it was just kind of like... Fuck that shit. If I find... I, like, I'll probably upload that individually later so you guys can look at it. The only reason I restarted the videos is because I had to tell somebody that I'm doing videos for everybody, so... I don't want to be rude and just, you know, not tell somebody what I'm doing. Like, communication is very important. And fire signs, I'm communicating to you that you are up first for shadow of judgment. Da, 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 da. Okay, what is shadow of judgment? Looking at the nooks, the crannies, the corners, the curves, the circulars. Looking at what's in the shadow side. Looking at what's hidden between the dark. Looking at what might be happening in the subconscious, the astral. Things you might not know about throughout the week. And fire signs, you are up. First, Aries, we're doing you over again. Might show up the same, might not, but it might elaborate and make me remember so I don't have to upload another video. But it's probably not going to happen that way. Well, let's see what's going up with you guys. For, what's today, the 12th? Yeah. Um, the 12th to the 19th. This is what this is going for, Aries. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, because we all need that little bit of luck, right? Especially when Hubris comes in with a wish fulfillment and someone wants to talk shit when it comes to the home. Right? Right. We got someone looking over shit and how it just didn't come out. You know, hindsight is 2020. Someone wants to convey that things did not end kosher. Things did not come out the way someone thought it would. In this house, there was supposed to be a victor. Someone got left out in the cold. Ooh. Some nizzle. My nizzle. Boop. And boop. Okay. Let's see. Aries. So look at right? Someone had a wish fulfillment. Always comes with baggage within it when it's in reverse, right? That's always it for me. Either you got tired of it, or it came with some sh hubris shit that you weren't expecting. But I'm feeling more like it's hubris because you're looking back, or somebody is looking back, on how things went honky-dory because... Some people might have ended up being on the streets for a minute before they got to the place where they were, that they were okay with themselves, right? Now, this home might have went funky-dory and someone had a victory with it, but it doesn't seem so. But they're going off offering their cups somewhere else, like the home's secure. Someone's got a victory and people got their back, and now they're riding off to do something for themselves, fulfill their own cup, because they're happy, right? However, there's an air sign. Uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, also Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Just so we don't miss it. Gemini, uh, Virgo, and Taurus over here. We got uh, the um, Knight of Swords just running insane. Everything ended fucked up. I want a goddamn new offer. You know, just, just like demanding it a little bit. That's what you're dealing with with this week, Aries. Someone expecting shit from you. Now, in the other reading that I had, uh, it was a very different message, so I'll upload that later for you, because that's important. Because it says something completely different. But I'll cut out me, like, having to text a bitch. Alright, Leo, it's your turn for your Shadow of Judgment this week. Stand the fuck up, Mo. I meant to say bro, but it didn't come out the way I wanted it to, so, you yeah. know. Let's see. What have we got for you, Leos, for your Shadow of Judgment? What is going on in the background? Ace of Cups, someone's not getting an apology or some shit for something in the past. That's um, then we got somebody to decide, are you not going to give an apology or are you going to just walk away from the shit? 
those are your options, kind of, or what you're looking at in your head. Uh, maybe this apology did not work back in the day, or you feel like it wouldn't work, or you feel like there's no love there in order to work it out. And with this past situation, it feels like there were no options with it, so you just kind of left it alone. Um, we have a marriage or condition, possibly a Gemini, like a connection of somewhere. Um, you might look good, but you're feeling a little happy, but in the end, you're still a victor here. Like, okay. It's like you're mourning something from back in the day, a connection with someone. And this person, it feels like they don't know what to do, so it's like... They, like, I don't know, like, this could be you, Leo, right here, being all, um, I don't want to say emotional, but that's what it feels like, 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 being extra, <laughs> like, being extra to an ex, you know, like, or maybe that person's doing that to you with impulsiveness, but it's like, you're not happy with how you are anyway. Like, you want to ride in and look good for everybody, but it's like, you don't know what choice to make, but you are happy where you are. And the thing is, it's like, you're not as happy as you presume yourself to be. I don't know, that whole, like, love and not trying to work something out here with this right here in order to get a victory, like, this is kind of weird to me, Leo. But, that's your reading. You're a shadow for this week. Sagittarius! It's your turn. Let's see what's going on with y'all. What are y'all doing? What are you doing? Da, 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 da. What are you doing, my dear Sagittarian peeps, for this week? Between the 12th and the 19th of July. I probably said June somewhere, but it's like, whatever. I don't care. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, you feel like whoever's staring at options is just looking at it and be like, this is all bullshit. Um, but there's a lack of clarity here. Hmm. Interesting. We also have an end of fighting. Or trying to end some fighting, but I feel like someone doesn't know how to end it properly. Um, there might be some... Someone's looking at options in order to bring some justice. Not exactly fairness, but justice. Because justice and fairness are two completely different things, you know? Um, swift movement with this lack of clarity, and someone, like, kind of mourning the fact that there is an end to the fighting. Like, there's nothing left. Like, after that, it's done, it's gone. Like, as soon as the fighting ends, like, it's over. And it's kind of like, you know, like, do I still want to accept this cup they might be sending me through the fucking air? It looks like it's coming at a high speed, you know? <laughs> like, it might hurt. Yeah, they're looking for the right ways of trying to fix their own heart. Not even noticing that you're sitting under this tree kind of mourning this shit, right? Like, if there are secrets, they're being kept. You're... I feel like you're trying to move forward from this. Could be also Cancer you're dealing with. Also Libra. Yeah, like, you don't know if you can give anybody anything, and it kind of puts you in a sour position. Possibly Cancer, also Scorpio, Pisces. Okay. Sagittarius. This person over here is too busy looking at their shit, wondering how to fix themselves in order to worry about what you could give them. Like, if you give them anything, or you try to... Like, it could be Earth signs, but I don't think it is. I think this is just this person's vibe. But in case it is a uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn type, this person has no way of, like, actually um, appreciating everything you give them. They're too busy worried about trying to fix themselves in a just manner. Not a fair manner, but a just one. And anything you give them is going to leave you really sour and really pissed off and much more agitated when you want to go forward without them. 
Like, they're, all they're going to do is hurt your feelings because they're trying to fix their own, right? That whole um, hurt people hurt people. That's what I get with this um, page of pentacles right here. Because it's not that you aren't offering your best. It's that they see your best as shit. Worse, it's this lack of clarity that's still coming in, and that's what's agitating you. It's like as soon as they show you that, like, quickly, that um, they don't appreciate anything you give them, it's going to confuse the fuck out of you. But in reality, it's like they're not going to tell you why they aren't seeing it the way you're giving it, and that's going to set you in, like, you know, fatal attraction, blank close shit. You're going to be looking at the cup like, I wish there were knives in this bitch, you know? So I would say don't reach the fuck out to anybody. Don't offer anybody shit because they're just going to look at it like it's a piece of shit, which is bullshit. Because you're going to be sitting there wondering what the fuck you did wrong and then like you're going to have to wonder what. Like you don't have to give anybody anything. Don't give anybody shit. Fuck them. Nobody's going to appreciate. <laughs> if they don't appreciate, let them hate. You know? But fire signs, that is your shadow of judgment. Thank you for watching my video. I greatly appreciate it. If you want to like, share, subscribe, you go right ahead. No pressure. It's up to you. If you want a personal reading, the first one's on the house. Anything follows up goes from 10 to 20. The description box has information below. I will talk to you guys later. I love you all. Bye-bye.